I have a little mini project for us today. It is back to school time and that may mean you are your kids are learning from home or they may be going to school. But whichever, if you have a little girl, you need some super cute little hair accessories, right? And it just so happens that I cut off all of my hair and so I need some cute hair accessories too. <laughs> so I came across this, which is the Dritz fabric covered button kit. And we are going to use some of our precious tiny fussy cut scraps and these and some bobby pins to make some cute hair accessories because you just really can't have enough quilting fabric in your life, right? So I have never used this before. So this is gonna be an adventure. So this is the half inch size and it is the smallest size that these little buttons come in. And I thought that that would be good for bobby pins. So there is this little gadget that helps you kind of assemble your button and then there's a front and a back to each of the buttons that we'll be making and this comes with seven buttons and the refills are super cheap so i grabbed this adorable space invaders fabric since it had this nice cute little tiny print and i don't know if it's going to totally fit on this little button but we're going to give it a go so i'm looking at the directions and there's this little button pattern that we need to cut out so let's do that. Don't use your fabric scissors. So now that we have our little button pattern, we can place it over our fabric. And it, I wish that this was clear, but it's not. So I'm gonna have to just kind of center it as best as I can. So I'm using my sew line pencil here and it has three different colors of lead in it which are actually chalk and I'm using the white since I'm working on a really dark fabric here but it also has a black and pink in this little case and it's pretty nifty you just turn it and the next color of lead pops out okay so I have my little circle here so now I just need to cut out my little circle with my little design on it so I have my little circle of fabric cut and now I'm going to place it into this little clear part of the button component and I'm putting it in the side that has kind of the cavity and I'm just kind of tucking it down in there and then I'm going to place this kind of smooth side of the button piece kind of down inside that cavity and kind of push it down there so that the fabric kind of tucks down into the, what is this called? The pusher part. And you wanna push it down there so that the fabric kind of tucks around that button half. And now it's time to add the back of the button. And if you think about how this is gonna be arranged, we're gonna have this on a bobby pin and it's gonna slide right through the little loop on the back of the button and kind of be oriented in your hair this way. So you want the loop of the button to kind of be north-south on the direction of the design that you've picked. If the print has a right side up, you want the button loop to be kind of this way <laughs> to it. So I'm just gonna flip this around. This is the top of my design. So I'm gonna stick my little button back right like that and then we are going to put this blue piece which is kind of the plunger part of this there's kind of a, a hole on the side you put it over the loop of the button and push it all together okay let's see if it worked oh my goodness oh my goodness look it i made a little button so now our little button is done and you can just slide a little bobby pin onto it. Now you have an adorable little decorative bobby pin. How cute is that? So if you wear your bobby pins kind of more up and down in your hair, then you can put the back on the other way so that the button loop is kind of east-west on the design of your print. And then when you put it in your hair like this, the design will be right side up. Let's make another one real fast. <laughs> it's adorable. 
This is too much fun, guys. This is too much fun. Now, I'm using the little half inch buttons, but these do come in a variety of sizes. I think they come in three quarters and one inch, so if you want something kind of more like blingy, then um, you can definitely find a little button kit to accommodate. This was so much fun. I love, I love this one. So I thought this was just a really fun little project for those tiniest scraps, those little tiny fussy cut prints, and I thought it was a cute kind of back to school project or back to Zoom school project. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. I think these are really fun. So I got this little kit on Amazon. I will put a link in the description below and I hope you guys enjoy this. So um, there will be another full video out um, next week and there are videos popping up in the side of the screen right here that uh, YouTube thinks that you will enjoy in the meantime. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and happy button making or quilt making. Wow, I'm doing a, a really great job cutting out a circle.